R.C. Davis with 6'5", shooting guard out of Oakland, not the Bay Area, but Michigan. Travis Bader, how you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you know, this is a real fun experience today. Uh, just coming to Golden State, you know, being a shooter, uh, you, you get a little hyped up and happy that you're coming here to, to the Warriors and uh, obviously the Splash Brothers, and this is a place where they shoot the ball. So uh, me being a shooter, I, I was very happy to come here. Well, to say you're a shooter is kind of like, you know, a little ridiculous. You hit over 500 threes for a NCAA record that's more than just a shooter yeah um, you know I owe it all to Oakland University uh, they were my only scholarship offer and from you know not being offered any division one scholarships besides Oakland to making 504 threes uh, is pretty unbelievable um, you know I always dreamed of playing in the NBA um, I'm, I'm working hard and trying to make that dream come to uh, reality um, but you know just to you know have that experience at Oakland and to you know put Oakland on the uh, national scale, the national map, and um, is unbelievable. Uh, and I'm, I'm just very happy that it, it all happened at Oakland. Some underclassmen with the career you've had might have transferred, but I think you did that, as you mentioned, they were your only team to, only school to offer you a D1 scholarship. Is that why you stayed there? Yeah, um, you know, I knew I had the opportunity uh, to leave. Obviously, I graduated in three years, and um, so I knew that was uh, something I could do, and I thought about it a little bit, but. You know, overall, Oakland's been loyal to me. Uh, they were the only team to offer me, only place to offer me a scholarship, and uh, I wanted to stay loyal to them. I wanted to show that I had their back like they had mine. Uh, Coach Campy and the, the coaching staff, unbelievable uh, people, uh, unbelievable coaches. Um, you know, they really did whatever it took to make me feel like, you know, part of their family. And uh, the players at Oakland, same thing, unbelievable. I've made great friendships and relationships, um, and I just, you know, Oakland's my home. Great bloodlines. Your father swam at Clemson. Your sister's a tennis coach at Ball State. Those are some bloodlines that, you know, you're a pretty good athlete. Yeah. Uh, my mom played golf, so okay, if I didn't see? throw that in there, I'd, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. We, you know, we have some athletes in the family. Um, you know, my dad was in the water. I don't know what that was about. But, uh, you know, it's definitely, it's fun. Just, uh, you know, our, our family is very competitive. Family is all about sports. And so, you know, we go home and, uh, you know, we, we like to, to watch sports together and compete and, and do different things. So all that said, how much does that bug you when one of the knocks is he's not athletic? <laughs> a little bit, you know. I, I think I show uh, moments of athleticism. You know, I'm. Uh, I think I'm more than just a, a knockdown shooter and a catch and shoot kind of guy. But um, you know, in the NBA, I understand that would be my role, uh, and I'm more than happy with that being a knockdown shooter. Um, I definitely think that um, I'd be an advantage to have on your team. Uh, you know, just for superstars trying to get to the paint. I feel like if I'm in the corner. Uh, my defender has to guard me, and if he even thinks about uh, going to double or help uh, inside, I'd be there and I'd knock down a shot. Do you think you can get your shot off at this level? And by that, I don't mean the release, but I mean being able to, you know, dribble drive or pump fake. Is that a part of your game that you need to work on or that you feel is already there? Definitely. Um, you know, I, you got to keep working no matter what, even if you're really great at something. But, um, you know, I've been working this whole offseason. Uh, I've been in L.A. training against guys like Gary Harris, um, James Young, Alfred Payton. Uh, T.J. Warren, own. Glenn Robinson, yeah. So I'm, you know, I've been out there and I've been working for a month and a half, and just um, that's what I've been working on. You know, uh, knock down, sh knocking down shots, putting it on the floor a little bit, working on my defense, and I definitely think I've gotten better at all those. I've gotten better at just uh, having that one-two dribble pull-up, maybe getting in the lane with a little floater. Um, so I'm trying to show I'm, I am a little more than just a knockdown shooter. You know, but I am a knockdown shooter. <laughs> former UCLA great and former NBA player Don McLean is running those workouts. Mm -hmm. Has he pulled you aside and shared with you anything specific that's, you know, specific to your game? A um, little bit, yeah. Um, you know, it's just my first couple of days, I had a tendency to look down when I was dribbling, and he says, you know, you can't, can't be a threat to score if you're not looking at the hoop. So uh, just keep my eyes up, uh, keeping it on the hoop so uh, the defense never knows when you're going to pull. Um, also, a couple little things on defense. Uh, you know, if a guy does get by you, he's taught me how to kind of swipe low and still get a hand on the ball and get a deflection, um, even if they do get that shoulder past you. So, um, you know, he's a great mind to learn from, and I'm just happy I had the experience to be out there in L.A. learning from him. Well, if you're going to have one basketball skill, putting it in the hole would be the one to have, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, um, I think everybody wants to be able to shoot it, uh, and it's something that everybody can do. Um, a lot of people tell me, or a lot of people ask me, how do I have this unbelievable gift to shoot the ball? You know, my immediate answer is I don't have a gift to shoot the ball at all. It's just hard work. Uh, ever since I was young, you know, I transformed my shot when I was really young from an ugly shot 
to a pretty shot. Well, I think it's pretty. Um, and uh, well, you know, what'd you have? A chicken wing out? Was it two-handed? No, what do you mean? It was two-handed. I, I got my left thumb in, it and it was kind of like a little push shot. So I really worked with my high school coach, my dad, uh, Coach Washington at Oakland. Um, you know, even when I got there, it was just more of a jump shot and, and with different ways of, um, you know, footwork stuff like that. So there's always things you can work on, uh, but that's what it is. It's hard work. Before I let you go, at Darth Bader three. I, that's awesome. I, I love that Twitter handle. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's, I've gotten a lot of good feedback from that. Uh, I don't think I'll ever change it. Um, it was Nor something. You. It was something in high school. It was senior night, and uh, someone put a Darth Bader poster up there. At the time, I hated it. Uh, went to Oakland. People started calling me Darth Bader. You know, just kind of like friendly chants uh, from the student section. Yeah. So I was coming up with a Twitter, me and Drew Valentine, and uh, I was, you know, it was an easy one. I'm, I'm gonna be Darth Bader. Throw my number in there as well. So from then, it's been a hit. Fantastic. Where are you <laughs> off to next? Um, heading to Chicago. Great. Work Bulls. out for the Bulls. Yep. All right, well, stay healthy, travel safe, and thanks for coming on Warriors.com. Thank you. Appreciate it. For Travis Bader, I'm R.C. Davis for Warriors TV.